Well, in any case, welcome back, everybody. We're going to play Chrono Trigger. It's time. So we have some new emotes in chat for this. We've got... Give Dactyl. I don't know which chat member this is because um, the name came up different. But Give Dactyl is currently in chat. <laughs> and uh, yeah. We're going to be doing side quests and still getting annoyed by that stray pixel that gives Chrono cleavage. And uh, Xenolin. Gotcha. Cool. Thank you for that emote. Obviously, there's some uh, from Lumpy as well. So we got a lot of good Chrono Trigger emotes in chat, which just warms my heart. I love it. We've got um, we've got a number of side quests we, we're going to attend to. Last time we admired Luca's mom's unbroken legs. They were very unbroken. I almost, you know, I like just like to walk around sometimes. Like I don't even need to do anything in game. Just, just listen to some of those two tu tunes. So we've got some options, uh, but I know which side quest I would I wouldn't mind doing at the moment. Will you do the Black Omen three times? No. So we get the Sun Keep. You can do the Black Omen several times if you start in the future and go backwards, you can do the Black Omen in full three times. Okay. At some point, chat, I'll have to show you my Chrono Trigger Shrine. Pressing the wrong buttons because I've been playing games with different button configurations, so just give me a minute here. My Chrono Trigger Shrine, yes, I have a Chrono Trigger Shrine. Also, Chrono Trigger was recently discussed by Katase. Wondering what a Chrono Trigger, what fans would most like to see out of a Chrono Trigger remake. And, um, I have some thoughts on that, and I'm gonna take a minute. Ruby Vest cuts fire by 50. Isn't there a better- there's- you know what? There is a better one. Hang on. We have to use Dactyl. I think Willy Wonka and Oompa Loompas would make the game a lot uh, better for a remake. They should do that. Definitely should do that. Well, while we're doing this, so I need to get some armor that we can use for that fight. So, uh, I'm gonna get 
Just a couple frogs, uh, one new should be fine. Could get a red vest. There's already, I see in chat, people talking about the Chrono Trigger remake. Now, I've already discussed the potential for this a bunch, so there's not gonna be any new information here, but... I see, uh, chat members talking about Octopath with some disdain, as if that style is... ...maybe a little boring or running its course. I'm... I'm into it to a degree, and I do kind of feel like it's not a terrible approach. But for a game like this, I kind of, I don't, I, I kind of don't want to remake, even. I, I, like, it doesn't, my brain doesn't want it. My heart wants it, my brain doesn't want it. But it looks like that's something that they're at least thinking about over at Square Enix at the moment. And yeah, the Octopath thing is fine. I mean, you have options. You could just do more pixels, like the Pixel Remaster. Oh, we missed the new. There's also, um... the Trials of Mana approach, which is, uh, more mid-budget. Which I would prefer not that at all, honestly. I mean, you'd need... I want to see this game treated with, like... ...the most amount of money if they're gonna do 3D. And otherwise, it's just gonna look cheap. But therein lies the problem. How well will a game like that sell for them to, you know, actually do something like that? And then, you know, you worry, is it going to be a seven-year dev cycle? But, uh... That's why I think the HD, like, 2D, uh, 3D HD thing, whatever it's called, I don't even know what it's called... ...is not the worst idea. But... Why not do a sequel? That way, the sanctity of the original isn't squelched. That's not even the right word. Besmirched. Yes, that's the right word. Besmirched. Chat, they do not have to besmirch the name of the original game. Chrono Cross is, is an alternate universe kind of thing. It's its own thing at this point. I don't even consider it a sequel, necessarily. I love it, but it's... It's its own kind of thing. And I'm cool with that. So you can just do more of that kind of shit, too. You can do Chrono Break, finally. And it would just be... ...some tenuous connections to Chrono Trigger. Why so dramatic? If it is bad, it is bad. The OG will always be there. I mean, you know what I'm doing. It's the same kind of thing as Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I quite enjoy. Like, there are people who are really upset about that. And... I gotta be honest... I view it as a separate game entirely. <laughs> like, I even considered, like, boy, it would be cool to stream or... I'm not going to, chat, I'm not in the mood for it, but the original Final Fantasy VII... Me playing Final Fantasy VII Remake... ...was a cool, like, addendum... But it, it wasn't, and I'm sure Rebirth will be the same, I'm sure I'm gonna have a good time with it. But it's, it's, you know, the original is still there, and it still has its charm, and it's still wonderful. Oh, we need... There we go, we got one. Uh, well, we got one. That should be fine. Remember, you are not every single fan or the developers. At the very end of the day, they'll do what they consider best. I have a Chrono Trigger Shrine. Well, if someone wants to know my specific opinion, I can only offer that. So... I don't know... I don't know what they would do. 
but I hope that they do a good job. And I hope that whatever it ends up being, if it ends up happening, it's not the Secret of Mana remake. Because I also have a great fondness for the Secret of Mana. And that remake, from everything I've seen about it, never played it, watched videos, etc. Truly, truly shockingly stupid decisions went into that remake. Oh, I forgot to equip Chrono with a thing. It's okay. Chat, this is roulette, essentially. Boy, Chrono, nearly, nearly dead here. So you have to find the right one and keep attacking it. But then the roulette happens again. So that's the correct one. Um, I don't find this fight to be particularly difficult, but it can be a little tricky. Also, your attack power does not matter at all. All that matters is that you hit the right flame. There we go. Chrono's dead. One more hit. Yeah, one more hit. Good, good, good. Okay, not good, not good. Need some healing. Doing this one. Yep, got it. Is it purely random? Basically, yeah. From what I'm aware of. There might be a speedrunner trick or some stray pixel, but it seems to be completely random. I didn't, like, understand what was happening for, like, a little bit too long, like, an embarrassingly long amount of time when I was younger. Ooh, not good. That's going to kill Chrono. Again. Super under-equipped for this. I, I forgot- to, I just forgot to put flame-resistant armor on him. So 
So this is the Sunstone. Its power has been lost over time. With the sun's energy, it could be recharged. But it'll take over 65 million years. I have to voice Magus like an edgelord. I'm sorry, chat. He's the purple guy. He's the dark purple guy in this game, whereas Final Fantasy VII has the red dark guy. I'm the paper rare. I do it I rare. Hello, everyone. This is Running and Tubby Custard Review. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, everyone. I'm your host, Tinky Winky, reporting with. Ah, uh, McDonald's, uh, did some new slop. I'm gonna eat that shit. The sun keep where the sun never sets. Now let us go. Alright, so, anyway. You know what this reminds me of? Did anyone have these as a kid? They were like mood stones, where you would press your finger into the back of it, and it would make different colors based on the heat of your finger. It, this reminds me of a mood stone. Well, like a, yeah, it wasn't actually your mood, it was just heat. Anyway, uh, so essentially, that sunstone is now a moonstone, and it's completely kicked. So, what we need to do is, oh god. What we need to do is, we have to charge that over a very long time, because it could actually be used to make some... interesting things. But, it needs a lot of sun. So, we go back to the past. We leave it in the sun keep, where it will get the most amount of sun. And if you go to the future... Still here, shifted just a little bit, an unrealistically little amount of shift. The Moonstone is gone, yet it has not been taken recently. Let us return in time. There's power tabs and other periods. You can see it's starting to charge a little bit, but someone stole it. So I don't see the power tabs, but that's okay. So when I first played this game, yeah, I was just flying all over the goddamn place looking for it. And uh, there's one. So now it's starting to sparkle <clears throat> a little bit. It's looking like it's almost done. But yeah, someone someone took it. It's basically at 99% charge by 12,000 BC. I mean, yeah. It, there's just so many years. I know what you mean. So... What I ended up doing, I remember, was like just flying around. And then I saw this. I was like, oh, okay. Moonstone, never heard of it! Dad loves money more than he loves me. Person I hate the most? My dad, of course. Children are slipping away from us, it's so sad. So if you remember... I'll just skip a step. But, I mean, if you just figured this shit out on your own, it's kind of neat. 
It would take a little bit of extra effort to do so, but it was it was fun. Got the best jerky in town, but I'm saving it. I might let some go for, say, 9,900 G. You must be really hungry. Here you go. Now, that is pretty fucking expensive, but it's... I keep pressing the wrong button. It's way more expensive earlier in the game. Now it's not so bad. Mr. Breast video, $1 jerky versus $10,000 jerky. Yeah, seriously. UT's got a nice Robo shirt on the front page today. So, that's cool. I might check it out. So earlier in the game, we were here. And she wanted jerky. I see you have some jerky. Will you sell it to me for 10,000 G? So you can make a small profit, or I'll give it to you. You're giving it away? I thought there were no kind people left in this world. You can bet my children are going to learn the value of sharing. Okay, let's do some cooking. You can, like, kind of screw up the pathing. <laughs> You just warped his DNA to steal his valuables. Well, when you put it like that, chat member... I wish my husband were a little less generous. The person I like the most? My dad, of course. I love my daddy. You're interested in the Moonstone? Well, someone simply left it here. Seems important to you folks. Why don't you take it? Share and share alike. Help the needy. Thinking about making that the motto of the town. Everyone thinks that gonna work. Does that mean they think he's cool? Who knows? No wonder Dalton walked all over them. That's a theory. Well, never mind. I guess it's confirmed now. But yeah, I mean, I think that's a great little side quest, because it that's like the perfect time travel type side quest. And if you don't know the steps, and you figure this, again, if you just kind of piece together the puzzle of this, and figure it out on your own, it's really rewarding. You can't change people unless you go back in time and change people. Exactly. But yeah, it's great. It's a really nice side quest. And, it, and it's like, it's a positive one, too. Like, the guy's less of a jerk. You can get more jerky again for the king. I, I will, because I, I don't think I knew about the jerky in the king. You can also give jerky to the king on advice of the chancellor. that much money by this point in the game anyway. I mean, there's a couple things you can get. Like those those rare hats. Vinny jerky is just cow grapes. <laughs> uh Jeff, are what are you what are you uh what are you up to tonight, bud? learning about cows. That's cool, bro. It's a nice hobby. Okay. 
Okay, and now the future. And this thing is ready. It is amazing. What might Luca create with it? She must see this. This really is the Sunstone. With this energy, I can make an incredible weapon. Let's get back to my house quickly. I'll modify the Sunstone to extract its energy. Then we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. And it's finished. You got one wonder shot. Sometimes I amaze myself. Take a look, Luke. I borrowed a bit of the sunstone to create something nifty. So this is a weird weapon. Luca could be solving energy consumption on a planetary level, but she just make, makes a singular weapon. <laughs> Never considered that. Damage can vary. So you'll notice it's now 182. That's kind of a fucking lie. Also, sunglasses are like kind of amazing. Ups attack power. Wait, sh sunshades? There's another thing that makes it go even higher. This is a crit. Crit. Critical hit. Prism specs are the, the good ones, yeah. Well, we got some jerky now. I just want to show you uh, what this gun can do, because it's it's totally random. This is like RNG, the weapon. So, 184. Three, six, nine. One, eight, three. So it, it varies. I think you can get like fucking 800 damage with that. You can get 9999. Oh my god. Yep, there you go. 2,220 damage. So officially, she is possibly randomly the most powerful character in the party at the moment. Maybe. That's like if you get, um, you know, like five jokers in, in your, your deck, right? And one of them is the glitch joker. Since it is our 1,000th anniversary, the king has, for the time being, ordered probation for Chrono. The king awaits the return of his daughter. Only the Chancellor thought Chrono was guilty. Without Princess Nadia, this castle's dead. Why not give the king a present? He's been known to love jerky. 
I too hope Princess Nadia returns. King is deeply concerned about Princess Nadia. Or is it Nadia? I don't know. But being a king, he keeps it all locked up inside. I've got nothing to say. Oh, what's that? Your favorite. For me? Let's see. What? What is it, sir? How? Dare you giving me something this rich when you know I have high cholesterol? I've never seen this dialogue before. But it's your favorite. This is the last straw. Now I know how you really feel. Father, no! Leave now! Never show your face here again! Father! So nearly 30 years I've been playing this game and I've never seen that. So thank you, chat member, for that advice. That's great. Also, that was shit. We do need to do... Before we can do moral stuff, we need to do a couple other things. It's a fairly involved side quest. Like, there's there's one side quest that leads into that one pretty heavily. And uh, there's also some resolution for Frog. I think we're going to do the Frog side quest now. And then we'll, you know, we'll do the rest. Is Lavos dead? Uh, no. No. No, st still sucking the life out of this planet. So we want to, um, actually, this is kind of happening a little early. So these ruins here, we want to explore them. And however, there's a lot of damage. The structural damage is intense. So in order for people to... There's carpenters, and in order for uh, them to fix the stuff, we need to clear out these, uh, these ghouls. I will show the 1000 AD. Yeah, I'll show that. Let's clear out the ghouls, and then we'll do that. Just got a little spiritual damage. Like, imagine trying to sell this real estate. Like, do you even list that it's haunted? Because there are people that, like, list hauntings. That's one of the weirdest things about... ...about, like, real estate, is that there's actually people that will list paranormal activity. But... I have a theory about that. I have a theory that ghosts aren't real. But I also have a theory... <laughs> I don't know for sure. I also have a theory that people love haunted homes... ...as a novelty and that actually can increase the value and some people will buy a home based on that however i've also seen homes with lower value because of paranormal activity but i'm wondering if that's just because it's a shithole that had like like diapy hoarders in them i don't know uh, but yeah, I do tend to believe in some spiritual stuff. I just, I don't have a good, I don't have a good answer as to, uh, how much, really. It's not a bug, it's a feature, yeah.
There is a New York real estate lawsuit over a house that turned out to be haunted. I... Okay. Depends on if the spirit is violent or noisy. What about sexual? Like Dan Aykroyd. I'm telling you, no, Dan Aykroyd fucking slept in a haunted house and he woke up and he had the full script of Ghostbusters in his pants. It was crazy. <sighs> Look at the name of this pool. Who has the better tracks in this game, Uematsu or Mitsuda? Mitsuda, but a couple... My sword hath no effect! Glenn... Iris, it is me, Glenn! What? Glenn? Yeah. So it's Cyrus, but his spirit is very uh, disturbed. And so the most you can do is try. You did bring the guy who murdered him with you. Yeah! I always do. The boss is at his favorite cafe. Is it a cafe, though? Is it? My tools have been stolen. I can't get any work done now. I wish Toma would stay put for a change. Hey, Chrono. I finally got a lead on the rainbow shell. There's something odd going on. Oh, can you hang on to this for me? Got one Toma pop. If I don't return, come to my grave and pour this on my headstone. <laughs> Gee, isn't this morbid? <laughs> that is such a fourth wall break by Woolsey. Like, Siri, I don't... Th maybe there's a better way to say this. There's gotta be a better way to, like, approach this conversation. But then, <laughs> Woolsey's just like, you know what, whatever, fourth wall. Ten years ago, a beast was seen carrying something into the northern ruins. Treasure, perhaps? Pour one out for me if I don't come back. I that's a great... Right there, perfect suggestion. I mean, maybe not as specific, but... You know, could be like, I, I... Well... The cape isn't here. In 600. Dalton literally saying things about the music. It's charming. It is. So, anyway, yeah, here's his grave. I mean, if, listen, if you go here... ...you're gonna see the grave. And if you talk to him before you see the grave, you'll have the... ...pop. The great adventurer, Toma Levine, rests here. 3-6-6-34. I mean, ghosts are very real in the Chrono Trigger universe. Chrono, long time no see. I've located the rainbow shell. 
of the northwest of this cape is a very large is a large island called the Giant's Claw. You can find the shell there. But beware, there are many beasts about. Time to shove off. Just <laughs> floats away. You guys are a riot a minute. See ya. I don't know if you could tell, but Toma had some substance abuse issues. First, he makes you pour a beer on his grave, and he's got drugs behind it. If Magus is at the front of the party, he acts like he knows him? Wait, really? If you could find the dialogue and paste it in chat, I'm sorry to, you know, not do it myself, but just to not interrupt the stream. I'm not going to reload, it's been... It's been too... We've come too far. It's beyond! By the way, you can't go to that place until you pour the stuff. He just says Magus instead of Chrono. Okay. Um, he, he... You can't go to that place, he pointed out, unless you pour the stuff on his grave. So anyway, you need tools, right? So... You could just go 400 years in the future. My husband's never around. I'm gonna show him who's boss. Next time, pal, right in the kisser! You want to borrow my tools? Be my guest. I'm busy here, so go get them from my wife. Heard about the ghosts? No. Ghost Knight roams the northern ruins. Isn't that a trip? All the youngins went to the Millennium Fair. He only failed to find the rainbow shell. No, he found it. You can go there, it's just that the name of the place doesn't show up. It doesn't have a cave entrance, I don't think. His tools. Oh, hold on, they're right here. It still lets you in. Could be an oversight. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought maybe it wanted you to see Toma get some resolution to his... His minor character arc. Wild to think Chrono Trigger and Family Guy were only like four years apart. Okay, that fucked with me. That fucked with me. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot how Family Guy... Did you see, like, some of the early Family Guy, like the pilot, like some of the animations? And you compare it to now, and how, like, non-standard it is. By the way, the ruin- the, the word standard has been ruined for me. Um, because of that one chat member. I'm playing fucking Balatro, and it's like, standard Joker. Standard cards, standard whatever, and I'm like, oh, Got some tools there. Will you lend them to a buddy? Yeah. Thanks a lot, now I can get to work. Thanks for lending me those tools. Now I can finally get to work. Guess I'll start with the ruins. Come on, you lazy blokes. Whatever you say, boss! Bunch of nerds. We're done for now. We can't repair the spots where the monsters hide. Call us after you get rid of them. We'll do the rest. Come on, you lazy blokes! WHATEVER YOU SAY, BOOTH! It's time for Luminaire Spam!
we spam in Luminaire every day. Poor frog with his water spell, he just... Just drip, drips a little water on them. Meanwhile, Chrono is summoning, like, the power of, of like, five suns. The other problem with Frog, I love Frog as a character. His later techs are a little rough. Great to have him on your party for healing. Cure 2 and heal are phenomenal. Leap Slash is pretty good. Water 2 is good against, obviously, the right enemies. Frog Squash is... I'm not a fan of it. It's a shame, too, because it looks kind of neat, and it kind of sucks. Vinny, do you think Chronic has been to Texas? I'm pretty sure weed's still Ill illegal in Texas. Chronic comes to Texas. Sounds like the movie Cotton Comes to Harlem. Classic uh, black exploitation film, by the way. But, uh, I can imagine that film. Snoop Dogg. Seth Rogen's. See what I mean? It's a rough one. Snoop Rogan's. Frog Squash is strong the lower Glenn's HP is. Yeah. No, it's it's very situational and conditional, but you know, it's useful if your frog is is um about to die. A little on the nose. Vinny, how do you handle the wave of negativity you see on social media so much? Um, by not answering questions like that. No, I'm serious. Uh, and I'm not... I'm gonna answer your question. I know it's a silly answer, and I'm sorry for that. I didn't mean that to come across as snarky. Um, the question is fair. It's more about... I think... It's just to tune it out as much as possible. When I post, it's just silly shit. It's like 99% like, oh look, the meth Oompa Loompa. Or, um... You know, something to do with like my, one of my memes or something. So, there's that. And, uh, unfortunately, I mean, some people are really committed to just trying their best to change things. I'm a little more pessimistic about it, because I feel like people are so dug into their things. I'm just here to try to bring a little bit of happiness, uh, to myself, and maybe some other people that watch what I do. And to try to live a decent life while I'm on this planet. And so... You know, if I'm on there for too long, my brain starts to hurt, and I just take, like, a day break. I mute words, sometimes people. You know, there's, like, if there's streamer drama, or, like, one streamer calling out another streamer, I just, like, kind of mute as much as possible. I don't want to hear it. I guess that's it. Other, uh, you know, you, you get a little bit more... I, I grew up without, uh, the internet. I was gonna say you get a little more callous, but... My generation is weird because I... I grew up... I mean, I played this game and, the, and I had no internet. I grew up for, um, 12 years of my life with no internet. And even the first couple years were still, like, AOL. It was still kind of like, what... what internet is? I don't know. So, um... I don't feel like I need to be online. I am addicted to my phone, like most of us. I'm not above that. And, um... You know, that, that pains me to say a little bit, but it's true.
but I do find times to... I just kind of like, you know, will look up stuff about movies I like, or games I like. And, um... If it becomes overly negative, and it makes me feel stressed out, I, I tend to, uh, stop looking at internet. That's, I guess that's an easy answer. I, I don't think it's... <laughs> it's all very common sense stuff. I play music, I watch a movie, I watch, you know, stuff I like, and I just disengage. I'm not gonna change the world's problems. I can raise some money for charity. I can... you know, try to make people laugh a little bit. Um... I can change the lives of people around me a little bit, hopefully for the positive. The, more, the older I get, the more I want to do that. And that's about it, really. Sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes I play video games and stream them on the internet. Sometimes I jizz on a pigeon. <laughs> you know, all these things are nice, and they're not uh, social media related. Now, hear me out, chat. The Daddy's Jizzies chat member apparently was discovered while I was in this part of the game. So, you know, I felt it an appropriate time to invoke. It wasn't? Ah, oh, fuck. It was Magus's castle. I was lied to! Sometimes I buy pigeons, like, um... I buy- I, I, I buy wild bird food, chat. Let, let's actually rewind that. I... Sometimes go to a pet store and buy wild bird food. And I feed doves, and I feed blue jays, and I feed sparrows, grackles, starlings, pigeons. That is true. Morning doves are, uh, in particular, they bully other birds. Uh, so I do not jizz on the pigeons. I actually feed them instead. And I'm not trying to get brownie points with the chat. I don't give a shit. I do it for me because it's fun and because I like birds. And it's a good way to de-stress. Uh, so that's that. And yeah. It's just seed. It's like bird seed for, like, um, pigeons and doves. It's like wild bird seed. Chat, I swear to God. Chat, chat, don't. All right, let's continue the game. We got a big moment here. Cyrus, the fool who challenged Magus, rests here. But, but Magus is in the party. Magus is right there. I do this bit every time, but I love it. Cyrus, I hath returned. That cocksucker Magus turned you into a pile of bones. But worry not, that piece of shit motherfucker is no longer here. For I have slain him with my own hand. I'm right here, frog. All right. Anyway, Magus is a good buddy now. I shall honor my promise to thee. Cyrus. Len. Thank you for making the journey here. Dear Cyrus, thou must think ill of me. On the contrary, you have come far, my friend. When Magus defeated me, I thought of all those whom I had left behind. King Guardia, Queen Lean, and of course, 
You, Cyrus. Your skill and dedication is superior. I can rest now knowing that everyone is in good hands. Goodbye, my friend. Cyrus, wait, I... I... The Queen! Look after Queen Lean. Alas, and farewell, Gwen. Cyrus! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Cyrus. Asamune. <laughs> you know, that little portamento on those notes really makes it. The, like, the sliding notes in the song. The auto. That was special. Quite. I guess it means that a hero's power comes from within. Mucho metaphysical, man. <laughs> like mind over matter, Mune. My mind? Now for a yummy full on test. It's thrashing time. There's no thrashing. They just give you the, the sword back. It's flowing with strength and vigor. Ah, is the true identity of the Masamune. Cyrus, I promise to fulfill your wishes. This is a sad farewell. Onward all! Fuck you, Magus! Well, it's his ultimate weapon, and for good reason. And now, the hero medal... ...is good. Because na now that will also... ...do extra critical hits. So Frog is now like a d DPS monster. Oh, the headstone again. CT Plus and DS versions fixes this scene. The Asinius translation really hurts this moment. I don't doubt it. Cyrus sleeps here, avenged by his friend Glenn. I don't think it ruined the moment. It's still a good moment. It affects me the way it did, you know, when I first read it. But, um... Yeah, it, I... Like, there's the weird mucho metaphysical thing. It's a little strange, I agree. But... It's charming. That's why I play the original, because it's it warts and all, I love it. Don't need language to understand grief. I mean, a good chunk of that could probably play out without very many words, and it would still have a nice... Like, it would be understandable, and it would still have an, uh, an effect. So now... Um, 400 years later... Frog's old-timey English works. It's Massa and Mune being Cheech and Chong. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. So Moon Armor is, like, incredible. Magic defense plus 10, really high physical defense. So that's an excellent thing to have.
Now remember, this is all powered up stuff. We charged it with the Lavos pendant. And now, 400 years later, shit's better. Isn't Kali also... Are these like Indian gods? Kali and Shiva, both? But we also got the Vedic blade. What is it? Vedic, a Hindu god, sorry, yeah. Um, ap apologies. Uh, what about the word Vedic? What does that mean? Is that, the, well, the, the Veda, Vedic is Hindu as well. Okay. From the Vedas is the Hindu Bible, right, thank you. Yep, there's vague memories of this stuff. I learned it at some point. Four times damage at critical. That's that's a really fucking good thing. It kind of makes me want to take off that gold stud and put on the sunshades. And that's what we'll do. We'll see how it works. Siren is now the Valkyrie. I mean, look at the fucking damage increase. Holy shit. Marl doesn't... I mean, Marl gets a really, really good side quest that offers, a, like, some character growth, some resolution. It's a really good one. However, her ultimate weapon is here. And, like, it's easy to miss. Isn't... yeah, in her butt. Uh, isn't the Valk the weapon that makes her hit 100% of the time with 777 damage? I don't know. I'm not switching to Final Fantasy VII tonight, uh, chat member. That'll be tomorrow. And once again, I'll tell you why. So, for those that don't know, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes out tomorrow. And, uh, I got a key for it, and I don't have to thank Square every 20 minutes, but I'm very grateful to get that key. The key itself doesn't unlock until five minutes from now. So, I can't even, like, preload the game. So, I haven't, unfortunately. Uh, and what that means is... Let's say I do that, I download it. You know, I always have some issue with the PlayStation. I start at 1 a.m. I play for an hour, I'm tired, I go to bed. So, tomorrow morning. I'm gonna download it overnight. And then tomorrow morning, sometime around noon. Probably gonna play until like fucking 5 p.m. So, noon Eastern to 5 p.m. I anticipate all Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I don't know. I'll see how I feel. I'll see if I get, like, overly hungry. Um... But I'm excited for it. I can't... I actually... Am, and the reviews have been phenomenal. I know reviews only go so far as you can throw them sometimes. But... When everybody is unanimously, like, praising the game... That's a good sign, at the very least. So... Considering what little I played already, and considering how much I enjoyed Rebirth... Uh, Remake, sorry. I'm excited. I kind of want to get Ayla here. Magus would be good to continue unlocking his spells, but I think this is a good segment for Ayla. Dactyl. It's nice to get this music another time, too. 
Homeless crumpled note. Those holes, what if I jump into them on purpose? Yes, I'll start back at the beginning and... The remnants of the Tirano layer. The Tirano layer. Lavos fall and Tirano layer buried underground forever. They let the music play out. That's how, like, good they knew the music was. Lizard Dactyl. Not real Dactyl, but, you know. Honestly, Chrono spamming Luminaries is the move here. They have the, the, um, sorry, the, what the fuck is he called? Me, the, the, the <laughs> Toriyama Lips. These strange Dactyl creatures. Will you be finishing this tonight? No. Ah, that move. No good. Bad move. Not good move. Did you hear anything? Uh, hear about Uematsu saying he won't be doing any more full game scores. I did hear that. It's very sad, but also... He earned it. Dude's got a body of work that rivals almost any other composer in gaming history. And even some movies, in my opinion. Uh, movie compo- most movie composers. This guy's a fucking legend. And I know his health has been a little rough, so yeah, I think it's probably... Probably just a fine idea to do a song once in a while. I think he's got a song for, uh, Rebirth. I think he's got a song, you know, he'll probably have one for the third one. Really good at He hasn't done a full game OST in a long time. Fantasian was his last one in 2021. I didn't even know that. But I mean, he doesn't need to fully retire. The dude can also make... I'm sure he loves making music and playing music. I think... I mean, I guess I know some musicians who don't. Like, there's a couple people that play music that don't love it, which is silly, but... In in that sense, um... If they're like, Nobuo, we could use you for three songs on this soundtrack. Up for it? He can say yes if he wants. Yep, a cat falls down there. It's a little... It's a little weird, isn't it? I hit it! You can do that? I didn't even know you could do that! What happens if you load that save? That is, uh... I'm gonna make a save state first. Is what I'm gonna do. Floor resets almost assuredly. That makes the most sense.
It's funny because even though they're reusing a dungeon, A, it's a cool dungeon. B, they're rearranging it just enough. It's not like, I'm, again, it's just like generic cave textures here, but it doesn't really bother me because, again, you get this fucking awesome music. It cuts out more the more tedious sections of the castle. I think I missed something, by the way. I think early earlier in this castle, there's uh, another path I missed. Chrono Trigger reused assets right, I think. I, I think so, too. It's not very long, either. Yeah, it's not. It's not the longest. And it's optional. I mean, it leads to the problem... Okay, if you don't like this area, it does lead to... a pretty important side quest. So, if you don't like revisiting it, that kind of, you know, it'll suck a little bit. But, uh, I like it, and I don't mind it. I'm just happy to hear the music again, mostly. Trying to figure out how to do that thing that it's like probably not that hard of a guitar riff to play. Yeah, it's like D. guitar rift. The rift in guitars right now is how fucking expensive knockoff brands are getting. Because the quality is starting to match the actual brand. And now the knockoff brands are jacking their prices off up to like levels that were previously for the, the name brand guitars. There's still, uh, you know, there's still probably some decent options, because guitar manufacturing has gotten better, I feel. But, yeah, that, that shit's be expensive. And you can get an Epiphone that's, to me, like, probably comparable to an actual Gibson. I have an Epiphone Les Paul that I got for 600 bucks. Nearly 20 years ago, and, like, adjusted for inflation... Uh, I don't even know how much that would be, but I'll tell you what, there was a, a chat member who sent me custom pickups. Pickups are the things that pick up the noise, the, the vibrations of the strings and translate it to a sound. Um, I forget, they didn't really need the credit, but they were a very kind chat member. They made their own, they sent me some custom pickups that they made, and now my Les Paul sounds fucking phenomenal. So good. So I was always, I was very appreciative of that. Um, just gonna check real quick, I'm... Not to, like, I'm not that knowledgeable about guitar stuff, a little bit. It looks like the same guitar is now a thousand bucks. So that's like normal-ish inflation, I suppose. It sucks to say that, but yeah. Get in there. Oh, I think we have to fall into that area. F 
Frenzy Band. 80% counterattack rate. Good lord. That on Luca is devastating. I can't even imagine. Just the the pure amount of like that's like spinning a roulette wheel like four times in a row and only paying for it once. I've heard that guitar is a good instrument to transition into from violin. Both string instruments. I don't see why not. I don't play violin, but if you play one string instrument, you already have like a decent... There's a, a finger dexterity thing that's already kind of solved for you. Violin is harder? I believe violin's harder. I do believe that, yeah. And more precise. I feel like you have to be more... Your precision needs to be on point for a violin. Technique too, yeah. Have you tried playing a guitar with a violin bow? Um, no, but Jimmy Page did. That was his, like, famous trick. Secret technique. Johnny Greenwood, too, yeah. It's good for droning and experimental. Opinion on Ebos. Uh... It's an electronic bow. Yeah, uh... Gimmicky. But useful, if you need a nice, like, droning texture. You can also just set a delay to forever and drench it in reverb, and you can get, like, some pretty decent, like, droning textures. Man, so close to triple kick. Shit. I always love that... It's weirdly memorable that... Like... The game wants you to walk around... The, the dinosaur? I think maybe... To, I don't know why, that's a weird thing. Also, yeah, there's just a dinosaur. 65 million years later, this thing is still around. <laughs> it's... It, you know what? Don't worry about it. Ayla also has frog squash. That's right, Ayla just charmed a dinosaur.
Man, until Triple Kick, Ayla really... There's like a whole section of her skills that are like... Kind of lacking. Ayla works well, also, like, with double and triple techs. I want to get that critical hit with Chrono. Honestly, this is probably even better way to damage this creature. Look at this. We're doing more damage this way. Uh, well, no, not really. You gotta get lucky to do more damage that way. It was like a false spring day today. Not a false spring, I mean, it was it was rainy as fuck, but... Today was, in New York, warm to the point where I had to, like, put, like, AC on for a little bit. Apparently tomorrow's gonna be more sunny. Oh, that sucks. That was exactly the amount of damage needed to kill Ayla. Fuck. Ah, oh, wrong thing. No! It is also... It's fine. Um, it is also, from what I understand, even though the weather today was, like, kind of hot... I say hot, it was like 55, something like that. Apparently, we're gonna get more snow in New York, too, so it's gonna be a little wacky. And everyone's sick, and I think I even have a little stomach bug, too. I was like 59 today, actually. Again? I'm- I live in a city where- and even if Staten Island isn't particularly city, it's pretty densely populated, and... You know, the weather sucks. And people get sick. And yeah, I, I wonder if, like I said, I wonder if COVID fucked with my immunity a little bit, but... I have no idea. But, um... The point being... I'm okay. I, when I say a little stomach bug, I mean it's very, very, very minor. I think I'm okay. And I think I'm past it already, but... I noticed, like, the past two days, I was feeling a little funky. I'm like, oh, I don't know what's going on here. And then I find out, like, fucking everyone's sick. And the weather is not helping, but... Once again, we are now talking about the weather here on the stream. Hi, hi. Hi. Should we talk about the weather? Wait, wait, no, that's the second line. It's, uh... What REM song is that? Strangers talk about the weather. You know me a whole lot better than I know you.
Behold, a rainbow shell. Heavy, heavy, can't carry. Castle people help? <laughs> I love including Ayla in big choices. Hello, you're always welcome here. What can I do for you? We ask as a favor. Oh, I get it. You want me to keep that huge shell safe here until the next century, right? I ask for the sake of Chrono. Please carry out their request. Done. I shall obtain the shell and store it in the castle as a national treasure. Night Captain. Yes, Majesty. Go and obtain the rainbow shell and bring it back in one piece. At once, sire. Thanks to thee, from one so humble. Frog, thanks again. You deserve the title of... I love that you can just, like, activate frog music whenever you want. You know, there's actually a full frog theme. Why is the chef here? He's got nothing else to do. Nonsense. You save the day. I just cook. I'm whipping up a victory meal. Something real fancy. Yo, what? You want some jerky? Sorry, I'm out of the ingredients right now. Besides, it's that spicy for most people. I don't know why he sounds like that. Chad, I want you to hear the full frog theme. Full frog music? It got me crazy, frog. 4.3 billion views! What the fuck?! That's crazy! That's half the planet! It's all me. Um, this is a kind of a low-quality version of it, but you'll get the idea. So, not included in this game, but I think it was in the DS game, and you kind of hear it in some of the cutscenes. This is the full frog music. Love it. And then back to this part. I think it I think it's kind of better. one chat member that hates it but you know that's why there's eight billion people on the planet someone's gonna hate it and you know what some people would love my cinnabons the trial of the century is about to begin who's you ask king guardias of course Ooh, how about that? Give me one second, let me just grab something to drink. I'll leave you with that. Go fucking into the past, grab some rainbow shell, and now there's a big problem in the future. Oh boy. Be one second.
Okay, I am back. Note, when I say something to drink, it's always water. At this time of night, I don't want to be drinking anything too sugary. The king ordered that the court be locked until the trial's over. Why does sugar matter? I don't know, it doesn't... Uh, I don't sleep well. When I have too much sugary anything. Uh, before bed. You too will learn this. In time, my chat member. In time. Same thing on the left, but weren't there some stairs over there? The king ordered that the court be locked until the trial's over. So here's the kitchen. Note that, um... This wasn't here previously. This is the treasury. No entry permitted. And there's some weird snakes down here. No entry allowed. LET ME THROUGH! Had any of you heard of the rainbow shell? I too had no idea until I found this. It's an ancestral will. It says unveil the rainbow shell to the people at the Millennial Fair. What are you talking about? We have no family heirlooms here. So this is a forgery? Why does the defendant deny the people a glimpse of the rainbow shell? Because he no longer has it! He sold the heirloom for cash! Witness, please! What is it? Nadia, we are conducting a trial here! Father. Nadia, the Chancellor is trying to frame me. He hurls insults! Confirm your innocence with proof! Proof? Yes, if he hasn't sold the heirloom, it should be in the castle. Show me the rainbow shell and I'll accept his innocence. <laughs> Chancellor, what kind of trickery is this? Remove them! No entry allowed. Let me through! Princess, not even you may enter. Is the rainbow shell that shall prove his innocence? What are you saying? It's a lie! There is no heirloom! Hast thou forgotten? History hath been changed, and the shell is within the castle! Aha! The rainbow shell we gave to my ancestor 400 years ago is still here. Probably in the basement. There's some weird time stuff happening here. I, I would almost... So it's nice to get this music again, but I would almost say it's a little... I don't really get what's going on here. Ouch, a rat bit me. The boss is itching to offense the grudge that's been in the family for 13 generations! Gee-hee! He's gonna find the king! Go <laughs> Also, the names. I mean, this was like a couple years after Dumb and Dumber came out. Yeah, even the guards are like, wait, those stairs were there? And that was, I think, even poorly translated. Slightly. So there is a plot. Let's hurry. I love the way the story unfolds like, like this. This is awesome. I confess, I bought it from the king. He said he needed the cash. Liar! I've never even seen you before! Order in the court! <laughs> Was I convincing? Perfect. I 
it's all like fucking level one enemies, like some of the earliest enemies you face in the game. This is more about the story than the challenge here. It makes sense why these specific enemies are here. It does actually make perfect sense. But yeah, I mean, some people remember the king doesn't. It's a little weird that it, it's like the the time the timeline changed, <clears throat> but they don't remember that it changed. I don't know. You just kind of have to go with it, especially like any time travel plots. I think this game is pretty clean when it comes to the tra time travel stuff. I think some movies and some games and TV shows go so complex and the rules get so convoluted that it starts violating its own logic pretty easily. But this game is weirdly consistent. But once in a while there's something. The rainbow shell. Why, it is a letter. To Marl? Dearest Marl, I know things are tough between you and your father, but nothing can break your bond of blood, neither words of anger nor great distances. Someday, when you have children, you will understand. This special bond is part of a family tree which links us together. Queen Guardia, the 21st, Lean. Dear Queen Lean, let us now make haste and fulfill our quest. Father, hang in there. We're coming. Members of the jury, if he is guilty, stand to the left. If innocent, stand to the right. Guilty. It's a really great revisit of a lot of great tracks in the game, too. This whole area. You won't reconsider? No, princess. There is one way. It's a bit rough, but just follow me. The verdict is in. Guilty! Sad King. The Guardian line ends here! This domain shall be mine! Take him away! Wait! Is it? Father! <laughs> yeah, that's like the biggest red flag ever, what the Chancellor just said. Nadia! Princess, control yourself! You're too late! The king has been found guilty! Even kings are subject to our laws? No, this was a setup. Nonsense. Oh, sorry. Nonsense! The king's a crook! But the treasure is right here. Impossible! Your little scheme is over, Chancellor. <clears throat> I, I mean, uh. Huh? Not the plot you think. I'm here to avenge my ancestors. I like that the judge just disappears. Super Ultra Presto Transformo! For some reason he says that. That's fine.
Wow, it's another Yakra. <laughs> who who would have fucking thought? We do have a good triple tech with this party. Oh, but Frog is currently confused, so we probably don't... Can't, can't do it. Remember when Palpatine was... With his monster face was taking con... Talking about total control in the Senate? Yes, the mon monster Palpatine was like, Monster more! A galaxy! It's like, wow, you sound a little different, Palpatine. You look like a monster man and you sound different too. But he does say he loves democracy. Everyone was like, we like this guy, we like him. He's not a robot, and he's not one of those Nemoidians. You know, I'm alright with this guy. If anything, though, I do like, with the prequels, I like how it set the Jedi up to be a little bit, like, over the years, their, their dogmatic ways were, like, a little bit too, uh, pig-headed and people started getting sick of them. I do like that aspect of it. Maybe that helps explain why the door for Palpatine was slightly more open. But um, that's why I say there's a lot of interesting ideas in the prequels, a lot of really great shit that just needed some extra time to be unlocked. And, uh... But yeah, I mean, listen, regardless of what I just said, he still had a monster face, and there's literally a butt forehead. Heard about it from the ancestors. Your weaknesses are... Yeah, that was- that was definitely not fun. I mean, he- he does say that the Jedi did it to him, but he kind of did it to himself. But also, the Jedi kinda did do it to him. It's not a total lie. I mean... He kinda melted his own face off. And he kept going. He didn't stop. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Daddy Palpy. He was a master manipulator. He, he, he was, but honestly, the way it's portrayed is a little silly at times. And it still makes me laugh when I think about how no one sensed it. And, like, the, the answer is always the dark side is very powerful. And I'm willing to accept that because I'm watching a space fantasy film. And it's fine. I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi, Mace Windu says. Yeah. We, we know, Mace. But also, we're watching the movie, and we're not the characters in the movie. So... I just like Palpy. I can't help it, I love him. I, I love Ian McDermott. I love his performance, I love how campy he gets. I, I think he's great. Poor frog. But yeah, that's a good triple tech. That kind of carried the whole fight. I was going to use haste, but I could just kind of turn my brain off and chat a little bit during that fight. So, before I begin, I would like to let you know that the jury... Not the jury, the, the, the members of the jury, maybe? I don't know, the court? They watched the whole fucking thing. Father... I... No, don't say it. I was wrong to be so stubborn. No, I, I didn't even think about how you felt. Um... I, I know it in my heart, but the words just come out wrong. I too have that problem. I thought you left me, but realized that it was I who abandoned you. But, I'm here now. We'll talk about everything that's happened. About Chrono, and Mother, and... 
mother. How sad. It's taken me so long to understand what Elisa meant with her last words. Someday when Nadia grows up, she will bring her beloved to meet you. Welcome him warmly. It will be a day for you to remember forever. You heard her last words? Of course. You were so young. You ran around saying, Daddy, it's fun having all my favorite people here. Seeing you so happy, she felt reassured, and she left us quite peacefully. So that's how it was. Yes, why? I used to call you daddy. You did. I'm sorry, daddy. I'm really sorry for doubting you. Chat's full degen and I'm getting all emotional. I'll let you exit the castle, but you be careful now. Take care of her. Indeed, sir. It's my turn now. Melchior. Can't let you run the whole show. Let me make some weapons from the rainbow shell. Finally time for me to do something. Watch and learn. Holy shit, a talking frog! Now this is what I call a 1,000th anniversary. Oh, sorry, fellas, I'm terribly embarrassed. Take care of Princess Nadia, okay? Yeah, I... I don't... Like I said, I find Marl to be maybe the least interesting character... in the game. And it just... Again, she's fine. She's good. But, like, she's just kind of... there at times, and yet, she has two scenes that fuck me up, both times. Well, Chrono is just a wet blank. Chrono is you, the player, he doesn't even say anything. But, Evil Vinny is back. Yeah, I guess so. I've said it before, um, you have a talking frog, a, a dark wizard with a tragi tragic backstory, you have a talking robot, an inventor genius woman, cave woman, and Chrono is just kind of there, I agree, he's not, he's a surrogate for the player. So for me, Marl, out of that cast of characters, is not as good as those characters. I know that pisses some people off, I love her. We got her in the chat. Two emotes. I'm happy to have Marl Sauce. But I, her storylines get me the most emotional, is what I'm trying to say. So maybe she's not that bad after all. This is a very rare... <laughs> oh, okay. As armor, it deflects magic. I can make you one prism dress, featuring maximum defense, or I can make three less effective prism helms. Helms always. All right, you just wait there. Finished. Off you go now. Ah, sunstone. I'll create an alloy out of it. One prism specs. <laughs> Don't think that's the last of my bag of tricks. One rainbow. I finally feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. Well, you did. So now... The rainbow has a 70% critical hit rate. Shiva Edge having the, um, four times damage is pretty mental. 
but this is the uh, best sword in the game for Chrono. And 70% critical hit is incredible. It's more consistent damage. And, um... I think... Prism Specs ups attack power, so that's just always crits. DS even... Uh, yeah, DS has a stronger one. Rainbow plus, plus Prism Specs equals busted build. <laughs> I'm at 1 HP, help! I'm sorry, so what were we talking about? Oh yeah, the weapon here I got, that's cool. But the luminaires, I know, I know, I'm keeping it. I'm gonna, you know what? Magus, Prism Helm, and I'm gonna give Magus the Prism Specs for now. Yeah, the Prism Helms are incredible. Anyway, as I was saying, very emotional scenes. And it's funny, too, because some of the writing in this game from Woolsey's tr uh, translation and localization, it's simple. And some of it's kind of written a little weird. But then there's a couple lines that just, I think, are really good. And the music does a lot of the heavy lifting, too, of course. But, yeah. Yes, indeed. I think it's also less about the lines and more about the context of what's happening. And they were literally from the beginning of the game, Marl and her father are fighting. Like the whole game, they're fighting. And finally, you get some closure. And it's, it's nice. I really like it. Um... locked. Um, how do you get the key for that again? Oh. Everyone's just always here, just waiting for a trial. Good evening, Worm, Your Honor! The court will plainly show something... feelings... Finally, that beast keeping me locked up in here. Princess Nadia, your friends, I presume? Wait, I don't have time for this. I must prepare for the Moonlight Parade. How long was he in there? You can miss him twice. Yeah, the, you could just maybe never save the real Chancellor ever. He wasn't responsible for the first trial then? Oh, no, he was. Make no mistake, he was. I mean, you saw the guards. They were like... ghosts. Canonically, he wasn't? The fake Chancellor was? Wait, how do you know that? Is there confirmation about that? Chancellor was Yakra. You just fought him. I'm saying that the first Chancellor in 1000 AD that locks Chrono up and is so adamant that Chrono's a piece of shit has a completely different demeanor than the real Chancellor. He was... His whole goal was to separate Marl and her father so that he could just, I don't know, he was, maybe he enjoyed it. But also because he was, um, a jerk, and he thought maybe he could take over the kingdom that way. Remember the glint in his eye. This is the same conversation you had with chat four years ago. We will continue to have it. As long as there are new chat members and dead brain cells, we will continue to have this conversation.
You know what? I'm gonna give Magus his due. This is his side quest. Come on in! This is the Great Ozzy's place! What the- Whoa! You- You're the Great Magus! You're doing well, Ozzy. The nerve! Deserting your fellow mystics to serve these humans! You're a traitor! You're not our king! Why did you desert us? You need Ayla to charm Flea's bra. Ugh. Less heals. Uh, but sure. Less heals, more steals. Ayla plus Marl for double charm. Do we- you know what? Let's- you know what? Let's do that. Let us give- let us give Chrono and Frog a break for once. I almost never do this combination, and I kind of like it. Let's try it. The long hair team. Actually, yeah. <laughs> the ladies, it's- it's their time. Uh, should I use the charm- The charm top. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, get real moist, yeah! I was quoting YOLO, I think. I don't know if that was a real quote or just made it up, but yeah. Megussi, Dactyl, and Butt Spanker. Good team name. You pesky lowdown good for nothings! Ooh, I'll have you begging for mercy! Flee! You sent for me? Well, if it isn't Sir Magus, who'd you bribe to get in here? Traitors like you deserve a beating. Oh, great Ozzy, stand back and let me take care of these cretins. I'm counting on you, Flea! Get ready for a slapping good time. Get it? Chat, I don't think we unlocked the double charm. Because we haven't had a... Oh, fuck. Alright, I'll just do regular charm then. Three on three fight has the charms. Oh, right, right, you're right, you're right. I don't know if this team's gonna be competent enough for that fight, now that I think about it. There's no, um... No, because they don't have double techs, and Magus... I, uh, Ayla and Marl have double techs, but, um... I don't think good attack ones is what I'm saying. And also, chat... Magus doesn't play well with anyone. He has no double techs and forced triple techs only. Do any stones give these three a tech? I don't believe so. Wind charm, ice toss, cube toss. Alright, we got cube toss. That's something. Oh, just you wait. We'll teach you a lesson. Howdy! You're nothing but common thieves! Anyone who tries to steal my treasure is looking for a very cruel death! And away we go! Ozzy, are you? Like, are you okay? Uh, 
Ozzy's in a pickle. Out of here. Chat, when I quote Ozzy, I, I, I quote that a lot. I say Vinny's in a pickle, or I say Ozzy's in a pickle. That is what I'm quoting. I'm not quoting Pickle Rick. Oh, you still haven't given up? Well, how about a good thrashing? Slash. I'm probably doing a slightly different version of Ozzy right now, but I feel like it might fit a little bit more. You rang. Slash, don't let me down. First, I really didn't want to slice and dice you, but now it sounds kind of fun. Ready? Just gonna bite. And... Slash. And shoot. No need to even use magic here, probably. Yeah. Easy fight. Sweethearts! Don't you want the treasure box? Probably filled with goodies! Found the treasure! Ozzy <laughs> stumped! here you fucking moron god oh yeah by the way magus's ultimate weapon is just in this conspicuously hiding uh hidden room doom sickle Attack up when ally falls. Again, just further fitting into Magus's character. Gloom helm, gloom cape. All of his best shit is in there. Truthfully, though, you know, the gloom cape isn't as good as the moon armor. Now, if if it looked cool and you could see it, that's that would be one thing. But um, you know what, though. The Gloom Helm is kind of better than the Prism Helm, slightly. Well, not really. It just gives Magus a little extra speed. I'll, I'll take the speed. Why are you quoting Danny California? peace. <laughs> Simultaneous release. <laughs> not so fast, friends. I'm not gonna make it that. Make it that. Uh. Not so fast, friends. I'm not gonna make it that easy for you. Ozzy pants. Flea vest. Slasher two. These unique items make us. Invincible! Then he's struggling to remember the voice. Struggling. Yes. Correct. I've never attempted this fight like with with this combination. So I'm a little worried. Slightly worried. We've got good armor. But yeah. I, I think attacking all three of them is kind of not the best idea. Magus is almost dead. Don't like that. Flea vest. Before I continue to steal, I'm going to try to, um... 
We gotta, we gotta get rid of at least one of them right now. Okay, Magus. Oh boy. Come on, give me just- I need one good heal for Magus. One good heal. Pure two. Magus. Got it. What a try attack. Yeah, well, why was that a try attack? I wasn't. I gave Magus the prism specs and he's not using them. Oh, it is. Sorry, it is. I'm so, I don't know. I missed, I missed an aspect of it. I guess I looked down. He's a platform. Yeah, it's something. Alright. There's one. Oh god! What the fuck? I got the wolf lobe sword! It, how- wait, how are you- wait, 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 how does that work? It's a bug, does it happen every time you steal from Slash? What was I supposed to get from Slash? The Slasher 2, right? So, what the fuck was this shit? Someone said, I've literally never seen that before. Good job, Vinny. I- I- what? Might have to reset if you want the actual Slasher 2. I kinda don't. The Rainbow's better anyway. So, I don't understand how you trigger that to happen. I know that can happen elsewhere in the game, but I have no idea that you could do that from... Uh, Slash. Then he steal the pants. I took the pants. Did I not? I did. Oh, goddammit, chat. Look what you made me do! That's alright. Triple kick. What in the- Yeah, that shit's fucking mental. It doesn't- Where does it show up? Does it show up anywhere? Is it an actual item? It's actually uh, the wood, iron, and like, load sword combined into one- Thing. Oh, I got the slasher too. Okay. It was just glitched texts. So the people call it the uh the wolf lobe sword. Honestly though, this it sucks. It's a very rare glitch. Uh wood sword, iron sword, load sword, and red katana. Weird, you usually get a wood sword from that glitch. That's fucking bizarre. While fighting throughout the game, there's a possibility the player will receive a wolf lobe sword as a drop or charm from battle. Insane. Check out those totally useful Aussie pants. Oh, you wear them on your head. What do they do again? They just smell, don't they? It casts Confuse on you, yeah. Um, the Flea Vest is Magic Defense plus 12. That's not too terrible. It's just... It, I think it's a Flea Bra, to be honest. But yes, you do wear Ozzy's pants on your head. 
They're actually good, but you need to cure confusion every battle. What's the positive? Highest defense helm in the game. What if you did Ozzy Pants plus, um, Amulet? I mean, it's not that much better than the Gloom Helm, so it's, it's kind of dumb. Magus, you lied when you said you wanted to create a world of evil! You used me! Oh, how dreadful. Say, can you hear that? It's the sound of the Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Magus. I can't lose! What would become of my mystics? I must win! <laughs> I gotcha! Adios, amigos! Oh yeah, Spanish is also in the Chrono Trigger universe. It, it has evolved separately. Just like, uh, what was the reference? Was it Einstein or something? Never! You will never defeat me! Houston. <laughs> no, not that switch! He never gives up, does he? Oh, sorry. He never gives up, does he? I, Magus says something if you have him not first in your party. He's like, so long, fuckface. Something like that. Or like, rip bozo, I think he says. But yeah, I, I like the humor of this area. There's not much... You know, there's not much to it, but it's fun. So where is Ozzy now? Well, Ozzy must have plapped. Because there is actually... You know, another Ozzy creature. Note the music change. Let's see, Elder's House. Ozzy the uh, Eighth. Yes, sir. I take pride in cleaning up. No, I'm not slacking off. This work is brutal. Name's Bandow. Here to build a ferry between Medina and Truce. I'm the leader of Medina. Make yourself at home. So, without Ozzy to continue, like, stoking the fires... It's just a bunch of imps that are just chilling. Great weather. Yeah, race ya. Hey, wait up. Grooving on life. Oh, the Black Omen, the Black Omen. We will smile on the Black Omen. Always. <laughs> Why do I always get stuck doing this? I don't eat- I don't eat the cake. It's so peaceful. Grooving on life. Hey, this stuff's mighty tasty. 10 G per night. Not only... Did they... Become nice, they, like, kinda overcorrect. Because the prices are cheaper than anywhere else. This is the sword I bought for 65,000. Yeah. 
So I mean, it's, it's good, good little, good little thing that happened here. They're all happy. Why do the imps have ass heads too? Oh, uh, that's Toriyama. There's a guy named, uh, Sigmund Fraud that would have a field day with, with Toriyama's art. So we read this last time. It has to be done in the future where machinery originated. So... Need you not a swordsman? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. I'm, I'm gonna take uh, Chrono and Robo, and I'm gonna bring Magus so we can get some leveling. For this next one. Big hand. I don't want to accidentally put Ozzy's pants on Marl's head. And for, like, several hours while everyone's off doing, like, world-saving things, Marl has to have, like, disgusting, smelly Aussie pants on her head. Haha, that would be so bad, haha. -ha. Oh, I see what you're doing, chat member. In reality, you think it's kind of a cool idea. In reality, you want to smell Ozzy's disgusting monster taint. I gotcha, bro. I see. His rotten... filthy, sweaty... dank... etc., etc. All right, let's do this. Who enters here unbidden? Oh, welcome home, R66Y. Or should I say, Prometheus. You dare to defile this place with humans? I haven't seen them in ages. Let me welcome them. Come closer. Let's see just what you can do. There's an enemy called Debug, another one called Debugger. This one's Debuggist. In Infinite Craft, when I was uh, playing, doing, finding some stuff for Ross, I got Dank, Danker, Dankest, and then it went Dankest Est, and then Dankest Est, 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 and then Dankest Est, 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 and I got The Rocks, Dankest Est, 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 Quesadilla. I do have the footage. I don't know if it's worth a full sauce video, because it's mainly Ross just talking. You know, his stream was there. It's just me finding a bunch of random shit. But I'll consider it. If you come here with Frog, Robo, and Magus, does it still say you're defiling this place with humans? Technically, Magus is still a human, you know.
And Frog was originally a human. Uh, you can't get in without Robo, though. Robo's the only way you can get in, so... But, I mean, yeah, so... Yeah, you, there's always... From what I understand, there's always a line about how... The humans are bad. The humans are dead! The humans are dead! We used poisonous gases! And we poisoned their asses! Day anyone else human bad? Human are objectively worse. But I've never heard a frog make a song. So... Not bad for humans. Can you find your way to me? And a buffalo has never made a video game. So I don't know. I think we're, we're pretty neat. We're also a little bit... Kind of stupid sometimes, but you know. Speaking from experience. Listen, I have experience bringing a Herborn. So I know what that's all about. Never heard Kermit sing about rainbows. I heard him sing about California. Four point three billion people have heard Crazy Frog. You can't objectively say that. Alright, fine. I like how we got two callbacks in the span of 10 seconds. 300 years ago, the Lavos disaster greatly changed the planet. At this rate, humans will die out from pure despair. This building still has electricity. I guess I kind of see it as like they have future tech where maybe um, the storms could power the electricity because the, the fucking there's always lightning or maybe tides. Uh, I don't know. Maybe geothermal. I've been playing a lot of RimWorld, <laughs> so my mind is on geothermal at the moment. That was an accident. But, you know, hey, why not? Obviously, they have a generator. It's a very good generator. It's a future generator, because it's been running for 300 years. What was that? You played this before. Yeah. Oh, right, I, I remember what, what has to be done there. It's like four unique glitches this playthrough. Wait, was that a- wait, that was a glitch? No, I don't think that was a glitch. I think you need- I forget some details, even though I've played this game a bunch. I, I think you need to electrify that robot. Remember last time you played Ayla glitched out and disappeared? I don't remember that.
There's a clip of you saying you'll never forget this. I forgot it. Listen, it's been a long four years. Every year I become smoother. The location of this is called the Geno Dome, which is smart localization from the Genocide Dome. I fucking didn't know that. Is that real? Oh, shit. It makes, like... Too much sense. But, uh, yeah, that is smart localization. Oh, well. Well, now you'll get to see why that is a thing. Hmm. Human processing plant. Gotta stop the machine. It's too well guarded. We have to destroy the central computer. Yeah, even the screams on the Super Nintendo are, are brutal. Like, you don't even have to see it. it. Just just that scream is enough. And then it becomes whatever the fuck that is. A power tab? I don't know. Paste? Pretty, uh, pretty fucking dark. Could be, maybe electricity. Maybe that is powering the generator. Like the Matrix. And you know what? Several years before the Matrix, if that's true. Don't you understand? This planet would be peaceful if there were no humans around. And yet you still want to fight. Why? I got you, chat. Oh, boy. Gotta say, chat, pretty tired. <clears throat> That's okay, though, because this was a very productive stream. This is a stream where I've done pretty much all the major side quests. So that means that the next stream of Chrono Trigger will be the last. It will be the Black Omen, and then the finale, basically. So we'll do that next week. The ride is over. Yeah, it's that, you know, it's that short of a game. It's obviously a little longer if you're playing for the first time and you're not sure where to go, but... It's not... The, the pacing is really good. I feel like it, it kind of knows when to stop. I've always, I know, I've always wanted more of the game because I love it so much, but... Are 
Are you interested in challenging yourself in future playthroughs? Like wearing the Aussie pants or something? Um... I would consider, like, a New Game Plus playthrough and trying to get some ending, maybe the developer ending. <clears throat> but that also... I mean, there's also the DS version, which I haven't stre <coughs> streamed in many years. Excuse me. But, I gotta be honest, I'm not- I'm really not playing this game for the challenge, <laughs> or for the gameplay. It's a perfectly fine, even good, quite good RPG, with good RPG mechanics, but I'm playing it for the- all the other stuff. So, a New Game Plus playthrough would be quite a bit shorter. Maybe a little bit boring in some ways, aside from, you know, gameplay-wise at least. But I'd be better with that than trying to do something silly like wear the Aussie pants on my head. This computer can give us data about the Genodome. What shall we examine first? You must obtain the two figurines on this floor to fight the mother brain. Do not leave with them. Yeah, Mother Brain. is now a friend. Aren't you able to change the conveyor? Wait. No. He just got stuck. Come on, pathing. Pathing. Bring this fella here. Um they become tidally locked and you get one of the dolls. It's not a doll, it's an action figure. The Jumbo Man! in the song. You'll hear it. We missed the part. Welcome home, Prometheus. 
You can tell it's a girl robot because there's a ribbon and she's pink. Atropus. Yes, it has been a while, Prometheus. You can stop pretending now and join us. Not much to say, eh, Magus? <laughs> Unlike the other R series, Prometheus had a special task. To live with humans and study them as a species. I see. Tell them, Prometheus. Now, step back, Prometheus. We'll get rid of these humans, then go see Mother. <laughs> We're leaving. Punched right in the jaw. What are you doing, Prometheus? I won't allow you to hurt them. Someone just said her name backwards is Sopranos. Yeah, exactly. You are defective. They have tampered with you. I'll destroy them, then fix you. Atropus, you've changed. Indeed, Mother made me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Stand back, Prometheus. My name is Robo. Prometheus. Wait, stand back. Leave this to me. Atropus. Prometheus! Tetsuo! What does Atropus mean again? Wasn't there um, some historical significance to both of their names? Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Robo means robot. Thank you, chat member. Atropus cut the thread of mortal lives. I see. Atropus determines the lifespan of mortals. Oh, that was a heal all. That's not going to be my most effective heal. out of MP. It's a bit of a risk, but I'm gonna take it. I am P Prometheus, it's been ages. Atropus. I'm damaged? What happened? Atropus. My memory bank. Mother must have done something nasty when she reprogrammed me. Partial memory restored. I'm sorry, Prometheus. Atropus. This is for you. You can plug this into your circuits. Please take care of it. Goodbye, Prometheus. Pretty nasty plosive on that P there. Atropus's ribbon ups Robo's speed by three and magic defense by ten. That, you know, it's a big that's a big deal. For Robo.
But yeah, Robo is, um... It's weird because, like, he has friends. He's not Data from Star Trek. Like, they programmed him to be very human. Even though he looks like that. But... I think he's great. Listen well, humans. Lavos's children will one day have to leave to seek new planets and pray. This world could sustain them if humans were not around. We robots will create a new order, a nation of steel and pure logic, a true paradise. Our species will replace you. So stop your foolish struggle to come to the sleep of eternity. The ribbon is a permanent stat up. You probably want to save before this fight unless you remember the gimmick. I don't, and I should have fucking saved. I think the screens you have to attack? You did well to come this far. I am the mother brain of the RY series factory. Come, Prometheus. You must once again join us. I'll reset your circuitry and erase your memories. Then we'll dispose of these filthy humans. Chat, I can fix her. We need just to install, like, malware bytes or some kind of antivirus software, and it'll be fine. I'm sorry, but I cannot afford to lose anything else. Not my precious memory or my irreplaceable friends. You would betray me to stay with these humans. You would turn against the family of robots. Humans have taught me much. Crawl... Uh, cr crawl? <laughs> Chrono, Marl, Luca, Frog, and Ayla. I will not betray my friends. Crawl. Crawl. That will be their son's name. Crawl. It will be so beautiful. Chrono and Marl can be Crawl. Oh. Foo -hoo -hoo. This is rich. Don't make me laugh. You have emotions? I'll show you just how human you've become. I, I think I read those laughs uh, is slightly incorrectly. What do you think, chat? I don't know if attack all stuff... Oh, okay, we don't need to worry about that. This is not a great team for... I should have brought Frog. I mean, I need the tech points for Magus, but... Honestly, dude kind of... Sucks for this. Like... No great options for um, double techs and triple techs. It's not a hard fight in my recollection, but we'll see. Are you punching a hologram? I don't know. So Chrono Cross um, actually delves a little bit into what happens with Robo. And also uh, depicts a future not destroyed by Lavos. Chrono Cross is interesting in, in that it deals with like parallel dimensions more than time. That's that game's approach. And uh, it shows you some versions of... Okay. Chrono Cross spoiler. If you don't want, come back. Uh, after, you know, it's like, wait a minute, don't leave yet. P Prometheus, why? Terra arm and the crisis arm. All machines in the factory have been shut off for good. 
<sighs> We're leaving. Come on, they could have given Magus some better dialogue than that. Twice? Let's go. So I'm going to let this music play for a minute. Okay, so here's the Chrono Cross, uh, slight spoiler. It's not a huge spoiler, but it's a lore spoiler. In an alternate universe, there's a future that battles with the past, and it's like some crazy fucking war of, like, further evolved dinosaurs, if they had survived, versus, like, a future that isn't destroyed by Lavos. It's like a bizarre fucking war. Chronopolis versus Dinopolis. And, uh, so, so it depicts those things not very detailed. I mean, you see some cutscene stuff, you see some art, and it goes into a little bit of detail, but you do get to see the futures, or, or it's at least talked about, of what the future of the planet would have been like without a Lavos destruction and what the future of the planet would have been like if the Reptites were the ones that evolved and won. So there's some really interesting stuff in there. It's just, there's a lot of other convoluted shit that you kind of have to claw, claw through. Kaiser Arm, I think, is all round. I wish there were more descriptions. Which, oh, by the way, chat. Put that cookie down. Alright, so, Kaiser Arm, Terra Arm. One is powerful, one's, I think, random. Crisis Arm deals damage based on the last digit of Robo's HP. Crisis arm is the one you're thinking of. Okay. Well, we're gonna save here. This will be a good spot. We did... I mean, the Black Omen is a side quest, and it counts as such. But I almost don't view it as one, necessarily, because... It's... it's its own, like, final dungeon. And you can just choose to ignore it. I could probably defeat Lavos now. I... I probably would struggle a little bit. The Black Omen is, is good because it gives you the opportunity to level a bit more, get all your abilities, and then you'll be more ready for Lavos. And there's some story, some fucking amazing music, and some actual, like, cool environments. So it's always worth doing. What tuning do I use? Um, just E standard. For, uh, in the garden? Yeah, that's E. Ghost page, E. It's normal. Okay, in the garden. F sharp major. D. B minor. It's the intro. Verse. F sharp major. A major. D. B minor. Chorus. F sharp major. <laughs> D, E major. Have fun. Stream's over. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for listening. We are approaching that 20-hour completion time, which is about right. And uh, there will be one more stream next week. We'll do it. And I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoy explaining and talking about the lore and enjoying the game's music and all that. It's, uh, it, this has been a very, very good playthrough of this game for me, and, and I've, I'm so glad I decided to do it, because it, it's good for me. And I, um, I enjoy. Alright, I'm gonna go now. I'm tired. See you tomorrow. Fairly early. Maybe like noon-ish. Maybe a little later than noon. Maybe 12.30. 
uh, Eastern, and I will be playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm going to download it now. I almost erased my save file. <laughs> Oops, how do I get out of here? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. All right. Bye, chat. <laughs>